All right, so here's the game plan. I'm gonna add a gusset up here. I'm gonna cut that out. We're gonna put quarter inch plate up there. And another gusset that's gonna go right in here. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take a second pipe um, and go from here straight up to here and weld it. So I'll have like a triangle. I'm probably going to solid stock this to about here since I am going to use a standard four stroke one for the 220 or 212 uh, four strokes. So, and then I'm going to do an angled plate that goes down on an L this way with some bracing and then bolt it down to that plate. Now the other thing. And I'm thinking of doing is taking this, moving it to here. I was going to do a gusset across, but that can cause some problems. And what I'm thinking of doing is taking this CNC clamp and then bending it to the angle of that plate and actually bolting it to it with a spacer. I have some aluminum blocks that we can just cut a spacer and bolt it straight up through the plate and do it that way. And... That'll be uh, two more mount points, so I think that'll definitely be enough. Um, so we're going to go that route. But anyways, let me show you what's going on here. The CBT. Alright. So roughly that's what we're looking at. It moved a little. Getting screwed around with here. Let me see. That should be, I look at it. Yeah, just a little bit off it. Okay. So what we're looking at is this. And that's the thickness of the CVT. So we're about the same thickness with the spark plug dead center. And I got about roughly a half inch between here and there. Now, on this side, when I do it, this is going to be the CVT bolting up right to this point. And I got about an inch and a quarter. So it's going to be off a little bit. Inch and a quarter. Versus a half inch in this thing. Who cares? You're not going to notice. So it's going to be pretty centered for what we're going for. And then I'm going to do the CVT and a shaft going this way. And I'm probably, I have a bolt here. I'm out. And I'm probably going to go down into it with a plate, to the mounting plate down there, and out. And I'm going to put a bearing holder on a shaft going straight through. And then we'll run either the belt drive or, you know, whatever here to the back. So that's going to be the game plan. But yeah, they do have an engine stud here for mounting. And when I get this all mounted... Since the plate will be going, you know, roughly in here. I'm going to have it just go down on an angle in and mount up to that plate. And then out here, a whole separate one where the jack shaft's going to go through with like a pillow block bearing. So that way it's off the CVT and on a pillow block bearing going to the engine mount. So anyways, that's going to be the plan. <laughs> Now, I mean, on my other one here, I've always wanted to do something like that. If you see, I got the uh, the belt here going to uh, on the opposite side. And I have a video on how I did this. But as you can see, I've always considered making like some kind of bracket here to make a straight through. And put it there just to make sure there's no stress on it. And it really had no problems. The only thing I did do, and I don't know if we can, there's a grease nipple right there to fill it up with grease. But this is also a belt drive, so off this CBT. But as you can see, this CBT is over a lot farther than this one. So. And this isn't centered as much. So if I push that over like an inch, it would be centered. But just the way, you know, everything worked out. And I, I really had to do it that way because of the exhaust. 
that was one of the big reasons I had to kind of push it over a little more. But, I mean, all in all, it's never really been a problem. And if you watched my videos, I had to extend that. And I think we're going to get away with a pretty sweet little setup this time. So, anyways, that's where I'm at. But we're going to weld the gusset up in here. Um, let me see if I got it. There you go. They're probably going to do a deal like this up to there. But with the same size tubing. So that's going to be a uh, thing right here at this joint. And then uh, I'm going to actually put a piece of solid stock all the way up this to about here. And then drill a couple holes and weld it in place. Make sure it don't vibrate around in there. And then we're going to mount everything up on a uh, one of the really good solid cast iron uh, 212 mounts. And then we're going to use this as a third mounting point down here up. And we should be pretty good to go. Because that will be a, a pretty strong frame hold. And I was going to do the whole gusset thing here. But... This is, I think, a better option up here, you know. So, but anyways, that's where we're at. Now I have to do a one-inch CVT off this. Going back, and then we're going to be good to go. Actually, funny enough, uh, the hardest part is going to be getting the quarter-inch steel plating. And I'm going to use to make the mount here going down and off that point and to hold my bearing because every single place down here is out, <laughs> which is absolutely crazy. Um, on the four stroke here, let's see if we can get a shot. I've had one of these with the cast iron in the bolt up and this has been absolutely awesome I do plan on putting uh, the studs in right here like I did on the other one but uh, you know it's worked great for this and, and this is the funniest part of this you know the two strokes everyone says they are lighter and stuff and that is a 79.8 cc or 79.5 whatever I converted it has a Honda head on it so it's a 110 cc Honda overhead valve head because they are interchangeable but this engine is almost identical in size and for God knows whatever reason it's only 4.5 pounds lighter than the four-stroke so kind of interesting <laughs> Got the 110 cc, and then this is 139, so a little more power, a little more poof. But anyways, and people ask me why I'm doing stuff like that. Do it to the exhaust, it's just to keep crap out of it while I'm building stuff. You don't need something dropping in there by accident. And I don't want the shaft to get dinged if something happens, so that's why that's on there. But that's where we're at. We're going to weld some of this up on the frame, get this looking nice. We're going to put that mount on. I'm going to spray the whole thing even with the mount on. I'm going to just do it all once. And then uh, go from there. Or I'll do the mount separate. I don't know yet. I haven't got that far. All I know is we're going to weld that, weld that. Probably weld that pipe in between here and there. And then we're going to go crazy. But that's where I'm at. Alright, so just a... Uh, quick view it's going to be something like that